path has a strong barrier across it, placed there as part of a pact between the Gemma and Mavels. Count Lee's seal on the cave to Wendell doesn't even compare. The only way to break the barrier is with the help of a Mavel. I could probably find somebody. Mana Sanctuary. I would love to see it myself sometime. Please take care. I'm sure that Lord Grons will be watching over you. Yeah, he doesn't want to come along, but he wants to see... Yeah, you want all the rewards without putting in the work. What the hell, Lester? Before you go, allow me to open my knowledge to you. What would you like to know? What's next? We'll go ahead and raise Don Tower. To enter Don Tower, you must go through Ruined Path. First, head for Ruined Path at the north end of Glass Desert. Okay, so then, you know, now we have to go through all this again, trying to get the plot out. Sword of Mana, tell me about the sword. When the Mana Goddess first appeared in the world, she held in her left hand the Light of Hope to dispel darkness. In her right, she held the Holy Sword to vanquish evil. I assume that that sword was the Sword of Mana, even though he didn't flat out say it. That was an incomplete answer. <laughs> Sibba, what the hell is your problem? Tell me about Julius this time. Julius is the reincarnation of Vandal. Okay. You're not that full of information this time, Sibba. <laughs> Tell me about uh, Gemma. The Gemma, keeper of the Sword of Mana, was the son of the Empire's Consul. The Gemma was the son? Sure. He was an outstanding swordsman. But compared to Vandal, he was like a child wielding a toy. The crowds wanted the Gemma to be king, but after the fight, he was nowhere to be found, and no one has heard from him ever since. So, the Gemma Knight is one guy, apparently. And Grons embellish stories of the Gemma, and even now, when disaster strikes, someone claiming to be a Gemma pops up, but legends are legends. What matters most is forging your own path and being responsible for your actions. That's what Dark Lord and Vandal did. Fair enough. Wait, weren't they the evil people, though? Your logic kind of backfired on us there, Sibba. Bogard. Bogard once had a pretty fiancé. He's right here. <laughs> After his long battle with Vandal was over, he married her. Their time together was short, but the two of them were happy. Bogard changed after she passed on. F fair enough. I'm not sure if this is new information, but I'm going to treat it as if it is. And we have the last one here, Misa. Tell me about Misa. Misa has a real mother. Unlike you, I want to leave the future to, to her. Take care of Misa. Siba! Your, your knowledge is very limited, and you didn't tell us really anything important. What's up, Sella? You lost your parents. Thank you, Sella, for bringing that up. But you still have a place to come home to. Come back whenever you feel lonely. Uh, okay. Sure. Why not? Everybody in this game it keeps on trying to cheer me up. I don't, I don't fully understand. Uh, but, is it night? No, it's not night, because then the guy would be here. Uh, we are still in the town of Ish. You'll have to excuse me, though, while I go save. Okay, all saved. We were already healed. So it's time to move on back to the glass desert where we were uh, before. And I did some uh, level grinding out here. Uh, this is where I was farming for the moon drops. And as you can see, I was wrong about something. I had said that these guys are immune to all damage when they're in their little reflection thing. As you can clearly see when Misa attacked it, they are only weak to physical attacks. You can still hit them with the magic and it'll work out just fine when they're in their glowy stage. However, my magic attack is nowhere near good enough for me to, to start to use it. And I got another moon drop out of that. Very nice. Those are definitely rare. Now, if I remember correctly, I do need to make everything night here, like, all the time. So, uh, I need to, to make it night on the next screen over here. Uh, that way, this shows up. Otherwise, this would not be here. These little, I don't know, glass bridges, I guess you could say. You. You are immune 
to sword. So let's go ahead and go with Flail. Hopefully you are not immune to Flail. He is not. He gets one-shotted. But these guys, these guys, I refuse to use a Flail on him because it's just too slow. And I could die from using a Flail on them. And I get... Mm, see what I mean? You see what I mean? One hit. One hit. That's all it really takes. There we go. Especially if I get a critical, I could die on those guys. That is no fun. No fun for anybody. Damn it, bombs! Get away from me, bombs! But I, another moon drop? Are you kidding me? I am lucking out with the moon drops now that I don't need them anymore. Let's just get out of here. I don't. I don't want to deal with them just yet. Uh, even though there are passageways everywhere, uh, there's really no way for us to go. Let's take these guys on again. With them out of the way, let's just head over here. Now here, I believe, yes, this is the part where we need it to be night yet again. Now it's in the middle of the day, which makes this kind of complicated. This place can be a pain, especially if you don't know the trick about making it night. Otherwise, you would have no idea where the hell to go, because you won't be able to see anything. See? Here is the path that we couldn't see before. How much... how, how much of a dick move is that? Oh, that's right, you're immune to that. Damn you. Now, if I remember correctly, that is not the way that I need to go, so I'm not even going to bother switching for him. We can head up here, however, and we can get ourselves a gumdrop, and... Obsidian! Very, very nice. That is a new material that we haven't seen before. Let me go ahead and finish off the rest of the enemies. With all the enemies out of the way, we can exit this screen out the left. Very nice. Now, we can't take those guys on, so we just have to head up here. And once again, we need to make it night. Of course we do. That, that makes this very annoying. I must say, it's more annoying than anything else. It's not necessarily, you know, a puzzle as much as it is just, yeah, annoying. What do you want me to say? Now, there are a ton of places that we can go here. I'm going to try to look. My speed is down. That was the one thing I was hoping for. And we can get a shade icon out of there. And a magic walnut out of there. Now let's get out of here. I don't feel like fighting you guys right now. Misa could die, though, and that, that would definitely be bad. Ooh, I see a, a sh I see a shiny, but it doesn't look like I can get them just yet. I am not on the right level. Misa, I am going to get off screen just in time. Just in time. And I see another statue here. I don't think I am actually done, though, so hold on while I heal Misa on the next screen. As I expected, and I plainly saw, there are quite a few more treasure chests that I need to get, so let's try to get those uh, obtained before I move on, which is what the statue always means. It always means that you are ready to move on, so don't go the way of the statue. Let's make it night once more. This, like I said, becomes quite a hassle. I just need it to be night all the time, and that's not something that I can necessarily do. So we need to head pretty much the way that I came, to be honest with you. Damn it, Misa, stop. She is so close to dead. So very, very close. Damn it, Misa. <laughs> Why? Why did you die? Uh, we need to head down here. And this will lead us to a place that we have been before, but with a treasure chest that we did not get last time. We can get an Ashwood out of there. Now we can head back up. And I do believe... Oh, we have new enemies this time. We can take this guy on. And down, he, he's fairly simple. So now I've killed one guy. I must kill the rest. I must kill the rest and get a level up out of it. I will take the level up. One more. One more. Thank you for dying. And not doing your, your stupid ability. No treasure chest, though. No treasure chest. So we need to head up here this time now that we're on the upper platform. And we need to make it night once again. I said it becomes more of a hassle than anything else. Back up here. 
And let's let's finally get that level up now that it is night and you can see the path that we need to go down. Let's go ahead and give me more power, more agility, all that good stuff and give me all all my MP back, which was I think all that I was lacking. Now we can head up here and grab these two treasure chests with a gummy frog and a Choco Lump, very nice. Now I've been misspeaking this entire time. <laughs> uh, Choco Lumps don't give you uh, MP, they give you HP. I'm sure you guys noticed that. Re it recovers HP by 80. You can also get a Honey Elixirs. I mean, they're... Wow. To be honest, I mean, look how many of these things I have in the game. I have never been using them. The game is so easy, I don't need to use items. I, I don't think I've used... Anything other than a cure uh, status effect spell, and that was pretty much that was pretty much it in terms of items. Sorry, not uh, spells. And once again, I need to make it night. This is the kind of thing that usually pisses me off uh, when I have to make it night. And now I have to make it night on two different screens in a row. And now that's not going to be possible uh, because of how I set that up. So now we need to head across this way. For some reason that glass path is a little strange. And down here. And is it still night? It is still night. Very nice. 